right, well, I think we can all agree that the Russian World Cup of 2018 was one of the best in recent memory. Uh, that's what everyone is saying. And uh, we've had so many exciting games, so many uh, uh, fascinating dynamics with teams going out who weren't expected to, you know, unexpected success stories, not least of which was England. But if you're Croatian, you've had a great World Cup. Mm. There's lots of other, Russia had a great World Cup. Um, so a fascinating tournament. Uh, I've seen some commentary saying, like, this or this will be the last great World Cup, right? For a couple mm. of reasons. Number one, that uh, well, the next World Cup is going to be in the middle of winter, um, in in, term, in European terms, at least yeah. um, when it's in Qatar, which I still can't quite believe is happening. <laughs> um, so there's that. But then more uh, long term, the, the bigger problem people are saying is that the World Cup from 2026 is going to go up for 48 team tournament rather than 32. Yeah. And people saying that that's going to ruin what is currently a very well put together tournament format mm. um 48 to, well we won't let's not get into qatar because i think we could go on about the strange nature of that decision we'll all uh, be confined to pubs all day, so <laughs> what a shame yeah. we're all in pubs so, oh no yeah let's talk about the 48 team thing um what do you what's your take on that dan will that will that um damage the nature of the world cup yeah absolutely um well i think it, it will do a, a few things so one i think I, I would imagine they'll end up with more games, right? And so FIFA and UEFA, FIFA especially, yet again, showing they have zero regard for the players. Mm. Like, absolutely zero regard for the players and their well-being. Um, and, and clubs that pay their wages. So there'll end up being more games, um, more, the, more teams in the tournament. So the format's going to be set up, much like the Champions League, to guarantee that the bigger teams yeah. are in the later stages. So that advertisers can... Or, or, TV companies can charge more for the advertising because they're going to be a bigger crowd or bigger, bigger yeah. spectacle. Um, and, um, and yeah, and the clubs are, you know, are going to find it takes longer for their players to come back because they're going to need a longer rest. And then the other thing, the other decision with the 48 team World Cup is to host it on three different countries. I mean... Well, that's on this time. But yeah, I mean, okay, but like, fine. But I mean... But who else has the infrastructure to be able to hold it up for 40 Well, to start with, hang on, let's, let's, so let's break down some of what you're saying there. First of all, you're wrong about the, the num increased number of games. For t I don't know if it's the, the total number of games might change, but it's still seven games. From, to get start, from to finish? start to finish? Really? Because, so, the, so for those who aren't aware, what will happen is so there'll be 16 groups of three rather than however many groups of four, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so you play two games, the top two go through. Top two. Right. Yeah, so only the third place team goes. So you have a round of thirty two. But then from then on it's all knockout. So it's a round of thirty two, quarter five. So the round of thirty two essentially replaces the third group game. Yeah. And then you have the last sixteen, quarter final, semi and final. I suppose actually so, an so, upside of that is that you potentially get rid of the dead rubber third Well that's game. that's what I was about to say. So i my initial reaction to this was like, Oh yeah, it's stupid. And I still think forty eight teams. Not, are, not all third games are dead yeah. rubbers though. Well right? no, not all, but some are. Like England Belgium was stupid. Yes, like, but like but then you had the excitement yeah. of South Korea, Germany and you mm. had all those yeah, things but that you made still up get for excitement, that. but you just get it in the second game in the first and second game so actually well, I, another, another I have a slight thing. issue with the number of teams because it's like okay 48 is getting kind of ridiculous you're, you're bringing, look, at, look at the shite that we had mm. Saudi Arabia were mm. terrible yeah. mm. Iran brought themselves back into Morocco yeah. were bad Panama were awful so, and that's those who qualified think yeah. of how bad the rest of them are going to be yeah. like, so, no I'm with you on that but, but, but what I'm saying is you will have every game will mean something Right, so you you only got two group games. They all mean something, and then the rest is knockout. And so, from that sense, it is more exciting, but isn't it? That, yeah, I, I, I would probably agree with that. Yeah, it, no, it does it, mean every game means something. Yeah. So there it does mean that, but you it's, can't rest. But it becomes rest becoming the, the elite competition. And I, I the, mean, elite, the elite competition comes at the round of thirty-two. Then the good thing. So well, the good. Okay, so the it's a very. It's a very big country centric thing for us to say that, though, isn't it? So, if, as, as England, who you would yes, but then you, then, but then you then they denigrate what it means to be the World Cup. Well, then, mm, no, not necessarily. maybe because um, you still got to win because it. Because also then the, the, so, right, there's some, so you go from thirty two to forty eight teams. That extra mm. sixteen teams, who's making up that extra sixteen? I'm teams? looking forward to Western mm. Samoa qualifying. Actually, the other <laughs> thing about it is um, is I saw what, what where those sixteen are coming from. Yeah. And I, I've got the exact numbers in front of me, but they're not adding that many to the European. So the Europe currently gets like 13 or something, don't we? Something like that. We get quite a lot of the 32. Um, we get half. We get 16, I think. No, it's or not we that used many. to. It's, no? it's just okay. under that. But we only we're only going to go up to 16 
I think it's from 13 up to 16. And then, but then again, so, that's ridiculous. So, because then you're stopping, like, Northern Ireland, Ireland, Wales, yeah. um, Italy, Netherlands. I've named five teams there in, thir- in like, five mm. seconds who are better than all the rest of the teams that would qualify from that. So from there's that good, but, but, but it, it, if, you know, Seth Blatter's mission, for example, sorry to bring him up, but, like, you know, his whole thing was... Uh, you know, expand expand the football mm. so it's not just a Europe and South America centric thing. So if you, it, so I think it was something like the Concacaf, for example, will go from three to six teams. Right, right. Um, I think it is fairer. There, yeah. there is a like, and and I know that Seb Blatter for all the, all the ill he did and for all the bribes that he took in doing this, he didn't he double the number of African teams that were allowed to qualify. Yeah, exactly. And you know, Africa's a huge continent, and so realistically, he should be getting you know just as many as. Europe, arguably, right. there's you know there's that many countries there. Whether they're the same level of football, we're gonna have to stop because the whistle has gone. But let us know uh, what you think about all of that. Should the World Cup go up to 48 teams? Well, it's already a done deal. So if you don't think it should, tough luck. Um, <laughs> but, uh, do you think it will ruin the World Cup uh, or will it make it better? Let us know. <laughs>